Hello everybody, this is user one Today I'm coming at you with a new video. Uh, this is going to be one of the biggest projects I've worked on. This is uh, me designing one of Michelle's houses. And uh, yeah, so I donated it for gold even though I didn't want to initially. But uh, since, uh, you know, LSAP is doing all this new stuff that I really like and I've had some really good interactions with some of the admins recently, I decided to go, hell, hell fuck it, I'll donate because I like the server a lot again. I fell in love with LSAP again. So I, I donated and I used this opportunity to um, I change the interior. Now, you don't need to donate to change the interior actually, which is a, a really good. All you need to do is, you, need to, uh, you know, pay the money uh, on... Uh, you, go, you go to an interior change uh, thing on the forum and then you just uh, select an interior and they have different prices. The most expensive one, the warehouse interior, costs $2 million. This one cost me $50,000, I believe. Yeah, $50,000. Uh, or ninety thousand. I'm not sure. Or one of these. Not that. Not that expensive. Um, so then I did a bear switch to get rid of the old furniture, and now I'm just putting in new furniture. So I've started with the kitchen. I've used the little lamp thing as a kitchen. A uh, couple things to note is that your uh, interior has to be applicable to your exterior, which it is kinda, uh, <laughs> uh, because my exterior is like a flat. Uh, with flat apartment with two stories, but the two stories uh, interiors were kind of expensive, so I just decided to take this interior and make it into a two-story interior, which you know is allowed as long as it's okay to make a two-story, you know, a according to the exterior. I also uh, it also has a basement, but I don't really utilize the basement in this build. I just kind of use this kind of room for a bathroom. So here's what I'm doing. I'm Right now designing the whole place, I decided to go for white walls with uh, just uh, so wooden background. And here, as you can see, I decided, hey, I am going to utilize the, the basement by creating a wall. Now, this wall is going to act like a, a, a door, sort of a hidden door, but I didn't want to make it too ridiculous and I didn't want to make it like... Uh, something that other people won't be able to find so you, you could locate it if you knew about it basically well you are you don't know about it because I'm making this video so that, that goes out the window <laughs> anyway I'm making this bathroom and um, I'm trying to create the shower and I'm having a lot of trouble with that also the lighting was a big issue and still is unfortunately I used the long rope uh, to use like as a uh, sort of a suspension uh, thing also I found the, the back side of this spatula to be a great drain look-alike. I used a, a painting, put it on the top and found something that kind of looks like, uh, you know, something that a shower shower head would have. Now I'm using a little uh, $6,000 uh, stand to put some shampoo bottles, which are actually just alcohol bottles with repainting. And yeah, so just a bunch of tricks to make your apartment look however you, you want to make it look like. With a donator, you, you can still design your house without the donator, however with the donator you get extra uh, furniture slots and you can get the ability to uh, edit your uh, materials. Now here's a mistake that I made. So this is me creating the second floor and as you can see I am buying long black shelves to use as steps. Now the problem with that is long black shelves cost six grand each. I've had a lot of problem with those. Now first of all they're obviously too expensive. You can practically, you can literally make a, a staircase out of uh, walls for cheaper uh, because like normal sized wall costs three and a half grand and uh, there's me dancing because I finally succeeded. This is really sped up. It's like I, I believe it's about four times sped up. I've had a lot of trouble with the stairs and whatnot. But hey, uh, finally finishing up the second floor. And I was really proud about it. I think it looked okay. Uh, one of the problems was uh, when two furniture spot, two furniture uh, objects were in the same spot, they would flicker. So I would just make them uh, offset by basically one, one unit, on one pixel or whatever. Just so they won't flicker, because the flickering is distracting. So, on the third floor, I decided to put a uh, green screen. Which I guess this is kind of the second floor. And the green screen is kind of ridiculous, as you can see, it's really effective. You can really put anything in there, like, as a demonstration. <laughs> um, this, the, this is the bedroom. As you can see, I couldn't... I didn't 
plan on a lot of space. I usually have this problem where I don't plan on a lot of space and it ends up being too clamped up. So it had to be like this kind of childish bedroom, but you know, you live and you learn. <laughs> I didn't know what to put inside it, so I just left it like that. I made a zebra couch, which is one of the advantages you get with the, uh, you know, you custom custom material stuff, you can just make it anything you like. Uh, I put uh, velvet on uh, on the TV to make it look like Netflix. <laughs> then I found uh, these curtains with the with the paintings retextured. They kind of look good as windows. And yeah, then I finished it off with uh, with some zebra <laughs> styled uh, dining table and a couch. And I I noticed that a lot of corners had troubles with. Uh, being visible and whatnot because of the fact that they're all solid color, which was an issue. You know, if you, I would suggest you would not use a solid color. Uh, that that was a mistake. Uh, instead, I suggest you would put. Uh, well, what I did is I would put some objects in the corners, like uh, plants and whatnot, to make it more visible. And finally, I made the office. You know, kind of like an employment area for Michelle to be hiring people for I and M. And there it is, my little uh, project. Thank you guys so much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, let me know how you like this video, stay awesome!